So guys, another episode of the Microsoft Lounge comments is here. We took a long break from the comments, from these videos, but we are back. And the last video was 40 minutes long. It is way too long. So I will try to be quick this time. And I've selected some comments. Some are for fun. Some are useful. So join me and let's take a look. The first comment is on the Guide to Latvia video. The Gorn says, I like your pagan stuff and love of shrooms. Does Latvia have hot women? Do you eat fermented cabbage? How often do you stroke your beard? The answer to all these questions is yes. But I want to address the hot women topic. Of course, Latvia has some of the most beautiful women on the world. But I want to stress this that uh, here in Latvia we see these equality issues as extremely important so I want to I wanted to clarify that the women in Latvia are also very skilled intelligent and uh, they should uh, have the same uh, wages as men if not more because uh, uh, yeah so I just want to take this opportunity to remind everyone that let's not focus on the uh, outdated uh, ideas of hotness and stuff like that let's remember that we are all people we are all equal and uh, but yeah definitely I, as a man living in latvia i'm very lucky because um, yeah we have some of the greatest women and um, uh, i'm not just saying that because for example we have we have had a woman president and turns out that uh, when we had the uh, wire the woman as the president she was actually uh, the best president that we've had like in all the polls and all the expert opinions uh, she is the number one president so there's that moving on some comments from daniel from canada come to canada victor and you can experience minus 50 celsius for canadian food check out bannock labrador tea you make tea from dogs Wild blueberries, maple syrup, maple sugar, and of course, food. Uh, and Latvian and Song dance, f dance Festival looks awesome. Well, first of all, minus 50, that is way too cold. Like, minus 25 is already bad, but how do you guys manage? But um, on the topic of Latvian Song Festival, this year it's happening again. So this summer, if you come to Latvia, you can experience that. But I really want to go to Canada. I've seen all the pictures with... Uh, I like that you have these massive pine forests and waterfalls and everything. Because I love pine forests. So I will come to Canada. Next, in the CDP flood prevention video. Uh, J7 writes, why can't it be fixed such uh, in a way that once a certain number of packets arrive... The function gets disabled for an hour. Until now, I've kept uh, discovery. Okay, so you can't do that. And it is the case with most of these questions like, oh, why don't you do it like this? In router OS, usually you can do it in many different ways. It's like choose your own adventure. So yeah, uh, great comment. Next, on the Cloudflare Zero Trust Tunnel. Hello, I have a question. Is it possible to access Microtik Admin um, graphic user interface through the Cloudflare Tunnels? Yes. Once again, is it possible? Yes, Router OS is flexible like that. So just uh, take another look at that video and the instructions are the same. Okay, more, more questions, more comments. <clears throat> the video sold me on the product. Talk about a hot marketing campaign. Proud new owner of HAP AX Cubed. And it is, yeah, on the HAP AX, um, the Wi-Fi 6 edition video. So, yeah, it's uh, very inspiring to read comments like that. I, I just wanted to, to say that I really appreciate uh, these comments, even if you just uh, tell us, um, yeah, I've bought the device. Because we're not just some uh, soulless, huge corporation. Every time one of you buys a device, we are all very happy. Because 
um, on one hand we are a large company all over the globe but at the same time we are a very small tight team and uh, the community is very tight so yeah always nice to hear that uh, you guys are one of us okay next comment from the time when we visited Riga Technical University career days uh, Japan Station writes for me what's important in the perfect office is good teamwork people that put the work before their ego a wide deep desk a high resolution monitor windows that uh, let light from outside decent chairs and of course coffee and don't forget every office needs a victor he always brightens up the day I agree and Microtech has all these things I really enjoy the huge windows even here in the training center uh, light is important especially if you live in a place like Latvia where it's not always sunny so you need all the light you can get and I like the comment about the work being put before the ego uh, one example from my life I used to work in um, as a civil servant right in the city hall completely opposite ego was was everywhere but what I like about uh, working in an IT company that everyone is so passionate about the technology that they are working on that there's like almost no ego anywhere people just want to get stuff done in a way that makes sense I love that I really do Next up, what's the story with the coffee machines and free coffee? Are you all handicapped and unable to make your own coffee or cannot afford it so it has to be free? I don't understand. Well, first of all, uh, I started drinking coffee just, uh, I think, one year ago. And I cannot make a good cup of coffee. I always make it too bitter or just it doesn't taste good. So there's that. And um, yeah, the, the coffee really enables some productivity because if everyone had to go outside to a coffee shop or whatever, it just takes time. And another thing, when we meet up at the coffee machine with the colleagues, it's a great place to like um, connect on a se semi-formal level. Like you still discuss like office stuff, uh, the latest um, devices and so on, but in a relaxing atmosphere so I don't see really your point I think coffee free coffee in the office is good I don't see any downsides to it <clears throat> another comment from the RTU career day sounds like Victor's is the only one who really wants a PS5 in the office <laughs> I actually don't uh, what I want in the office is a heavy bag like a boxing heavy bag um, the, and it doesn't cost anything to install and it can be a great way to relieve stress. Um, and also, we already have some noisy relaxation options. Uh, we have this uh, Latvian pool in the office, which is played on a square table with flat uh, wooden discs. Like, it can get very loud, so I don't think heavy bag is a problem. I will keep pestering the human relations department to get me that heavy bag. Uh, PlayStation 5 overrated. Uh, Dav David Reese says it's very important to have a space for the worker when they are stressed out, to have a real space to focus on problems and find solutions. Yeah, I agree. And uh, he also mentions big windows. So uh, maybe you guys can share, like uh, in the Spot and in the Wild series, when you send the devices, maybe you can also share some of your uh, office sites, like. What do you see from your window? That could be interesting, but um, it's up to you. I know that it can be sensitive. Never share too much information online. Um, then uh, Hilton Travis says, I would share this on Facebook. It's from the April Fool's uh, video about the digital COVID filter. But there are some people out there who only see 5G as the work of Illuminati, Satan, reptilians and could never be used for good. Well done, Microtech, on keeping the world safe. Well, I wanted to address this because sometimes, just recently, we had like a business delegation from Luxembourg visiting, 
and uh, w- one uh, one of them asked me my wife is against 5g do you have any supporting argument that i could throw her way to resolve the issue but uh, i believe that people have the right to deny something to to just blindly believe something and um, sometimes it's more productive to let them be like we cannot pursue it everyone some people are ready for 5g some are not but remember when 4g was a thing um, when, when it was something new we had the same problems and nobody is protesting 4g now so let's wait for 6, 6g and then the 5g will be wildly accepted and also i wanted to mention um, that when i was much much younger i've also had some friends in this whole new age thing but what is interesting that many new agers are also moving away from these ideas and i've heard a new name for new age movement you know what they call it now the new cage like they're being ironic about how um, uh, how much uh, manipulation there can be in this whole extreme positivity and whatever the the modern hippie stuff so all these reptilian believers i think if we give them time and space they sometimes change so everything's going to be okay uh, a question under the traffic generator tool video how about using iperf3 like normal people do Well, the thing is that we're not really normal, are we? We like the most powerful stuff when we can use it. And this is no exception. The thing is that the traffic generator tool in router OS can do so much more than the iperf3. It can simulate any kind of real traffic. So, why would you why would we use something less? Okay, moving on. More comments. Simple Tech Solutions writes mm, under the video about making your own uh, software-based router, like installing Router OS on a, on a PC or whatever. Thank you so much for making the software available to download for non-Microtech hardware. I buy from companies that give back to the community, so now I buy Microtech because the company helps, not hinders the users. Yeah, thank you uh, for noticing and thank you for the support. I also like that we empower and trust the user. Of course, sometimes if you give someone too much tools, um, it can be intimidating. They can break something, but then you learn, you experiment, and you become smarter and better in the process. So yeah, trusting the users, giving back to the community, uh, definitely one of our values. I appreciate that. Um, then there's an interesting question under the HAP AX cubed. Europe says um, uh, a guy with a frog profile picture, uh, nice froggy. Europe is moving quickly towards fiber coverage for home broadband. Some countries like Spain, France, or Sweden have passed 50% threshold of households connected via fiber. That's impressive and the numbers are growing why have you stopped adding sfp ports to devices for home and office uh, user users have to buy an sfp switch uh, well the thing is that the data that we see on the market it doesn't really support these claims of course there is more fiber going on but usually the service providers in in europe they give you their own uh, fiber box that you have to use or well, not the fiber box by microtech but just a, a random fiber box um, and you have to use it because they do all the configuration and authentication through that box for example i have the same situation at home i have fiber connectivity i have to use their router um, then i connect my audience to it whenever i have a problem I call them and they say, oh, no wonder you have uh, this, uh, what, what is this, router board, what's that, are you hacking? No guys, this is just a router, but can, can you take a look? And then we get it resolved, but yeah, they see like the devices on my network and and uh, I have asked them, could I, could I skip your box? And 
it's, it's just a policy but I'm not sure when this video comes out but if you are looking for a, uh, for a device with uh, SFP port uh, with uh, Ethernet ports and the great value and uh, interesting design and so on we have something uh, coming up soon or maybe it's already out but I will not say it in this video just uh, to give us some flexibility on the publishing date of this video but uh, there is a device coming out just for you my man so another comment even though I know a lot about networking Druvi's speech is pleasant to listen to well, Druvis covers the whole spectrum, right? For example, I don't know about networking as much. I'm still learning every day, but uh, for me, Druvis switch is also pleasant to listen to. And I think that is his, uh, his superpower. Like, um, he can be a great educator. Um, if, you are, if you know a lot, if you don't know a lot, it's just, um, yeah. So shout out to Druvis. Uh, next, great design under the solid rack video. It looks like as if Apple and IKEA joined to make a rack. Awesome finish. I hope the rubber lids are durable. Great price too. I've paid 45 euros for it in Spain. Well, glad to hear and uh, I think the rubber lids are durable because once again the solid rack it was never intended to be a product. We made it because um, the people at Microtech, we just were tired of the traditional racks and uh, so yeah, it should be good. Thank you. So the camera guy says that the video is already 20 minutes, so I will try to be brief. I think uh, Microtech would do good inviting others for interviews or, or on how they use Microtech, especially in the cybersecurity world. I agree, we can be a great medium uh, for the community to bring experts and so on. But good news, we already try to do this with the Microtech Universe or Magic Talks to Users podcast. So check it out. And uh, cybersecurity, I will keep that in mind and um, we might have some podcasts more for you. Next, Gen Z seems to be the worst generation so far. Well, I like how you're an optimist, like, so far. Um, this could be a review, but you made the Gen Z stuff out of it. It's under the Cap AX video. I completely disagree. I think Gen Z is one of the best generations so far, and I say it as a millennial who identifies as a baby boomer. Uh, I think the Gen Z generation is smarter, and every generation becomes even smarter than the previous. But even since Socrates' times, everyone is like, oh, the new generation is out of, uh, out of hand completely. They don't respect the old way. Uh, we have to accept the new generations. The humanity and the society is only getting better, and it will keep doing so. Um, CAPAX looks like a fire detector again. Um, then we asked, what kind of design would you prefer? And some people say that square would be better. I always thought that it is like one of the strengths of the cap. Uh, uh, that uh, it looks like a fire detector, so it, it blends in. I, I don't think most people want a square on their ceiling. But um, let's discuss this. Let me know in the comments. Do you want square ceiling access points? Uh, we can definitely discuss it. Uh, then the creator of the legendary Router OS Unicorn mug, Andrew, says about the Outdoor 5009, it, it came from a dream. Almost every month I have a new favorite Microtech product, but it will be hard to top this one. Uh, wireless internet service providers and CCTV providers will love these. Completely agree and I like this idea of the flavor of the month. So uh, thank you for the fresh uh, outlook. Uh, another comment is mentioning the scratch table in the studio. Thank God we are not uh, in the studio now, but yeah, about the table, we didn't know any better when we uh, got it. Like all the studio stuff, we were still learning. Uh, we just got a green screen, by the way, so you might see some shenanigans with that soon, hopefully, but yeah, the table has to go. Um, 
So, uh, Drum Addict says, as soon as you are here in Austria again, let me know. First two beers are on me. Cheers. Uh, again, uh, I like the optimism, like you said, the first two beers are on you, then the next two, I, g I guess, are on me. We have a deal when I'm in Austria. Uh, then, under the five reasons to choose Microtech, someone, uh, Pigdu, writes, I'm a computer savvy guy, but no way an advanced user in terms of networking. Still, I bought two of your routers. I have only scratched the surface and the amount of things you can do with them. Uh, and at, and, uh, and uh, at a reasonable price, it is just amazing. So very happy for you, and I, I, I'm really glad to hear these stories from beginners, because um, there's this myth that Microtik is like um, more complicated sometimes than it can be as complicated as you want. But as we see here, it's also very uh, beginner friendly if you are like disciplined, if you look for information and the Microtech community, from my experience, uh, is full of people who want to teach you something. So yeah, thank you for letting us know. Um, love the shot uh, and the b-rolls in general on this video, it's the CRS504 outdoor. Well, shout out to the video editor, I will not mention uh, his name here, uh, just uh, for his privacy, not sure if he wants to be uh, publicly known, but massive shout outs to the video guy because not only he makes these crazy good b-rolls and everything, he is also the fastest working video editor I have ever known and I, I've worked with quite a lot of video guys in the past, sometimes I'm not even out of the studio when the first draft of the video is already done, so massive shout outs to you. You know who you are. And uh, another video, uh, another comment under the solid rack. Um, one thing I noticed when searching for a nice rack online is just how glad I am that I enabled safe search. Yeah, I know what you mean. Solid racks can get confusing, but I'm really glad that uh, we see the solid racks in the uh, spotted in the wild submissions and. Um, it's such a cool product and uh, you guys were so quick to trust it and to adopt it. So thank you for that. Thank you for your trust and thank you for hanging out with me in the comments. Uh, we will do more videos like this and as always, I will see you in the comments.